thank you again, everybody, for joining us live for New Shepard's first human flight. We are at T-minus 45 minutes, and here the astronauts come. There you see Jeff Bezos in the foreground, Oliver Damon stepping into the Rivian. Crew member seven, Kevin Sprogue there on the right. As well as Wally Funk, what a moment for her. At the age of 82, she will become the oldest astronaut to have ever flown into space. <laughs> and there she is loading into the Rivian. Wally was part of the Mercury 13 program back in the 1960s. The program to train women to go to space that ultimately was canceled, but now it is her moment. Today is an incredible day for her. All right, now we're going to be waiting for mission control to get a, a go for astronaut load out to the pad. That's when they will, the Rivian will start heading out towards the pad. They're actually gonna pass right behind me here. I'm certainly gonna give them a wave. They then will pass mission control, get some last minute love from, uh, from our team there as well as their families and then they will head down the road to space to the launch pad and we'll go for load in. There they go, everybody. <laughs> what a moment. You can probably hear our team already losing it down here. We are super excited. And there they are. High fives from everybody. What an incredible moment. They're coming over here just behind my right shoulder. A moment we've been waiting for here at Blue Origin. So much hard work has led to this moment. How exciting. Wally Funk, the Bezos brothers, Oliver Damon, our four crew members are heading out to the launch pad. There they go, see you guys. Oh my gosh, they are in for the flight of a lifetime. And just a couple yards to my left here, that is Mission Control, and here they go passing by Mission Control. There you see Jeff Bezos waving to the team. They're going to hang a left there as they head down the road to space. Now, while we watch them travel down that road to space, they've got just a couple of moments. It's a long two mile road there. We've got a couple of moments. Why don't we meet aviation icon Wally Funk? You're in zero gravity for four minutes. You come back down. We land gently on the desert surface. We open the hatch and you step outside. What's the first thing you say? I will say, honey, that was the best thing that ever happened to me. I was <laughs> I've been flying forever and I have 19,600 flying hours. I have taught over 3,000 people to fly, private, commercial, instrument, flight engineer, airline transport, gliding, everything that the FAA has, I've got the license for. And I can outrun you. <laughs> Back in the 60s, I was in the Mercury 13 program. 
They asked me, do you want to be an astronaut? I said, yes. They told me that I had done better and completed the work faster than any of the guys. So I got a hold of NASA four times. I said, I want to become an astronaut, but nobody would take me. I didn't think that I would ever get to go up. Nothing has ever gotten in my way. They said, Wally, you're a girl, you can't do that. I said, guess what? Doesn't matter what you are, you can still do it if you want to do it. And I like to do things that nobody has ever done. We're going to fly you up into space on the very first flight. That's your... your... <laughs> I can't tell people that are watching how fabulous I feel to have been picked by New Origin to go on this trip. You're going to be an astronaut. Oh, finally! And I'll love every second of it. I can hardly wait. We are just so thrilled and frankly honored to help Wally Funk finally realize her dream of going to space. Now, recently I was lucky enough to spend a couple of moments with her right here at the desk. Why don't we take a look? Wally, it is a pleasure to meet you. Um, as, a, as a fellow pilot, you are an inspiration, so thank you. You for... don't know how great it is to meet you, that you are a pilot, and I don't want you to go fly more in that glider and in and jumping. Oh, that's, well, that's great. And hopefully follow in your footsteps and go on New Shepard one day. Absolutely, oh I mean, yes. So, Wally, you've, you've waited a while to go to space. Um, it's a silly question, but are you excited? No, not at all. <laughs> <laughs> Of course, I, since, since I got on the airplane and I got to fly the airplane <clears throat> and get here and meet all of you, this is so fantastic. What, what do you, on, so on launch day, what do you think is going to be the most exciting thing? What are you looking forward to the most? Lift off, <laughs> climb, undo, and be able to move around in the, if, if there's room, I want to do a lot of stuff because I've done that in, in other situations. And you were just telling me a second ago, you're going to take your camera up there and you've got a postcard that you're going to take a photo with. Is that, that is what's going to be on the window when I go up and then I'm going to take a picture of it with Earth behind me. That's such a beautiful photo of you and the American flag back there <laughs> in your flight suit. And um, that's going to be a spectacular photo. So. You know, this is probably, I imagine, your first time down here in West Texas at oh, our launch site. Oh, absolutely. What do you think? No, I, I used to be in Texas and, and teach. I, I think everything's fantastic. I mean, I've been treated so well, and the food is so great. I can't believe it's coming from, uh, I don't know, California. Right, right. And, and you're lucky to be here with all these friends and the people and, and, and see what's going on. Absolutely. Well, so... Wally, as I said, you've been an inspiration to me. Uh, what would you say to the next generation of, of, of young people that are out there that want to go to space? Well, I've talked to young people all my life. How many of you girls and boys want to fly? Well, not many raise their hands. I said, well, I tell you what, get your parents to take you out and give you a flight. Right. That's what I, my parents did at seven years old. And if you like it, you'll continue on. And if you don't, you might continue on because something's going to be in your heart that's going to want you to do that. I cannot wait to see you go to space. Thank you for being with us. Thank it's you. a pleasure to have you. Thank you. Thank you, honey. So yes, as you just saw, Wally Funk is the real deal. I was doing my best to contain my fangirl moment there because she, again, is an inspiration to so many people around the world and myself included. We see here that the astronauts are starting to ascend the crew tower. There's Wally waving. She's leading the crew. Gary, welcome back. It's good to have you back here at the desk to Thank get you, you to help with the play-by-play -play here. We just saw a moment ago uh, that they drove around the ring road, stopped, took a photo because of course, you know, you got we were going to memori memorializing this moment as best we can for these astronauts. They so deserve it. So going up the tower, we've got Wally, then it looks like Jeff Bezos, his brother Mark, and Oliver Damon that are heading up to their rocket. Now, while we have a moment here, I do understand that Kaylin Dietrich is standing by at 
Mission Control. What's going on outside Mission Control, Caitlin? Hey guys, Caitlin here. I'm with Jarrett Jones, the head of our new Glenn program here. Uh, Jarrett, how are you feeling today watching the launch here from Mission Control? Excited, awesome. This is amazing. It's just incredible. You could only dream about this day. And you know what, Caitlin? It's not lost on me and probably many of the viewers that today is like July the 20th, the day Neil Armstrong, who also graduated from my alma mater, boiler up, uh, stepped on the moon <laughs> and uh, made history. And we're doing it at New Shepard and Blue Origin doing our first human launch and it's just amazing. And the reason I'm excited but also focused is that there's quite a bit of technology transfer from New Shepard to New Glenn. Everything from the BE3 engine with the, uh, the locks and the hydrogen all the way down to our landing gear. I mean, this is an exciting day for us and I'm just excited. I don't wanna take the uh, spotlight away. It's about New Shepard. And uh, I'm just very proud of this team and then Blue Origin as a whole. I mean, just amazing, just amazing day, Caitlin. Well, we like to say that New Shepard is basically the second stage of New Glenn. Yeah, so you're absolutely. kind of seeing the second stage fly here today. Absolutely, absolutely. New Shepard was built and designed for scalability and we took advantage of it in New Glenn. So it's amazing, amazing feat that we're doing and just proud to be here. Just glad to be here, Caitlin. So smart. It's the epitome of our step-by-step -step approach, as you hear us say. And I want to pan back to Mission Control. We've got a lot of our team here on the porch here. Hey, guys. <laughs> Woohoo! <laughs> we are so excited. We saw the astronauts fly by here just a second ago. And right in that room is some of the world's most brilliant engineers flying this rocket today. And I don't know about you, but I'm starting to get a little bit emotional. Um, so back to you, Ariane, and we'll see you, we'll see you after launch. Woo!